It has been believed for quite a while already that the most advanced electronics piece of all is a computer in its every kind, from huge computing clusters to miniature-handled PDAs. Indeed, considering the fact that all state-of-the-art developments in many areas of science and technology have found their first implementation in the computer industry, let us try and review some of the interesting aspects using a hard disk drive as an example. So, a hard disk is a permanent storage unit with memory able to store information for a long time. In our case, this memory is non-volatile and allows multiple re-recording. Let's take a closer look. On the outside, one can see connected ports for interface and power cables. The interface cable can either be an AT conductor one, as in this case, or a narrow one for more advanced interfaces such as SATA. Found on the board affixed to the hard disk's bottom is memory controller, responsible for all operations with the data stored on the disk, and such components as voltage stabilizers, protective elements, stepping motor controller and cache memory. Let us open the disk's case and have a look at the internal design. Located inside are Electromotor, spindle that sets data plates, disks in motion, positioning system with solenoid drive that gears the rod to which magnetic read-write heads are attached, and data plates proper. One can also notice a special desiccant pouch that reduces air humidity inside the case that we are looking into. Worth mentioning is the fact that the hard disk is the most technological advanced PC component. The thing is, high spindle rotation speed from 50 to 100 revolutions per minute in older models up to 10,000 RPM in modern ones, requires top quality bearings and very precise center alignment, that is, disk warping during rotation must be virtually eliminated. Magnetic read-write heads are not rubbing against the surface but hover above in the air stream driven by the rotating disk. Positioning system must have very high precision, 100 of millimeter and better, to enable addressing the needed disk sectors and to read data correctly. So, we've completed our brief introduction to PC hard disks.